Welcome back to Cummins Camping. I'm Matt here again. I, uh, I'm out here in the garage and we're going to do something today that I didn't know I'd have to do this soon, but I'm going to work on the camper a little bit again. I keep doing a lot to this camper. It's not because the camper's bad, it's because of stuff that I think that they should have done better. And I'm, I'm just doing it now. Uh, it's uh, with the hot water tank, they have an anode rod in them. Just uh, it's like your household water tank. It's got an anode rod to protect the tank, so it eats the anode rod instead of eating the lining out of your tank. And uh, I took it out. I'll show you when I do it. Took it out to drain the tank because they don't put a drain in them, and I don't like that. I wish they had a drain in every one of them because campers seem to, you know, they tend to sit more than than a household one without being used. So. I like to drain it every time. I, uh, my old tank, I had one in it, and in the old camper, and I would drain it every time. At the campground, I'd drain it when I when I unhooked, so it was empty. I didn't have to worry about it, and it saved your anode rod and your tank and everything. Well, this one I kept putting off, and I pulled the anode rod out, and it looked crappy. So I'll show you that. And I bought a new one. There it is. It's got the drain and everything with it, and an adapter. So we're going to put this in, pull the old one out, throw it away, and forget about it. That way I can, it's got, it comes with the pet cock in there and everything. I can drain it at the campground and be done with it. Old rusty trusty here behind me. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Okay, so let me show you what we got here and the tools that I'm using. So you can get this anywhere. This is a universal kit. The zinc anode rod and it's good for just about any hot water heater tells you on the back we'll pause and read that this was $18 at my local RV store uh, actually Bronx RV in Salem Ohio and um, this is what it comes with they got the anode rod this is a 7 8 a 7 8 socket I'm using all half inch drive, whatever you use, it, it doesn't matter. 7 eighths on that, uh, the adapter, because the thread size on the on the tank is bigger. So if we give you an adapter with it, that's inch and an eight, or inch and a sixteenth, sorry. Got that socket. And then this is the drain valve. And that's a nine sixteenths, I just have a nine sixteenth wrench. So it'll be a little bit tricky putting that in, but it shouldn't be too bad. Show you what we got here and then I'll set you up and I'll go ahead and replace it. So this is your tank. When I drained it, I opened this so it let it get all the water out, let the tank breathe. And that's your pop-off. In case it gets too hot, it blows out there. There is the anode rod right there, and this one's loose because I had it out, so we're gonna go ahead and take it out. And I'll show you what it looks like. Pretty bad shape. This is a brand new camper. We've taken one trip in it. It's had water in it one time, and I left it sit in there for about two months. It's been in there. I should have drained it out, but so if this anode rod wasn't in there, it'd be eating away at the tank like that. But you can see, pretty disgusting on the end it turned white and they just eroded away so that stuff was on the tank so i flushed my tank out the other day we're gonna go ahead and replace this so we're gonna throw this away we don't care about this it's going in the garbage i'll set you up here so we're gonna put this in first i got the inch and the 16th My neighbor wants to mow right now, so sorry about that. Doesn't have to be super tight, that's what the tape is for. Helps seal up at any water getting out. So we'll take our inch and sixteenth off. Put our 7 eighths on there. Hope you can see that. We'll put our anode rod, new anode rod in. This slides inside the adapter. And we'll 
tighten that up. That should be good. Not too tight. You don't want to strip anything out. We're going to put our shut off in. Let's throw that in there. That's the 9 16 Leave that open so the tank can can breathe. Shake that out. We'll go ahead and close it. Some deal. All right. So I hope that helped some of you guys out. If it did, then I did my job. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to do here. I just I have fun doing these little videos, and if I can help somebody out, great. You know, then then they figure it out the easy way. I did the hard part and, and figured out the hard way. But this is a brand new RV, so if you just bought an RV, you might want to think about doing this. And, and when I go to winterize, having that shut off on there is a hundred times easier than taking that anode rod out every time. Trust me, it's a lot easier. $18 is a cheap thing to do for the easiness that it's going to provide from here on out. But having a shut off on there, every time I camp, I can open it, let it drain and and leave it and i don't have to worry about it so thanks for watching guys we'll catch you in the next one remember to like share and uh leave me a comment and subscribe we'll catch you later